the book of Hebrews, the fourth chapter and the second verse. And it reads, for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Giving all praise, honor, and infinite glory unto the heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachach Wadash. Give a double honors unto the head apostles of Great Millstone, who do rule well and teach well with sound doctrine, Shalom, unto the elders and the elder bishops of Great Millstone as well, Shalom, Shalom. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect in the heart of Shalom, to the sincere brethren laboring across the four winds of the earth, giving diligence to make their calling and election sure. Shalom, Shalom. So, doing a little bit of reading today, and as I was doing a little bit of reading, happened to run across Hebrews, the fourth chapter, and this precept right here. And automatically, the Spirit hopped on me to gather a few precepts, thought it was perfect for a title for a lesson, and a theme for a lesson, and topic for a lesson. So, Lord's will, the lesson reaches the ears of the whole for the elect, and it's edifying. So, this is the title right here. For unto us was the gospel preached. Unto who? Those that can receive and believe on the report. Those who are able to receive the gift of faith through preaching. You know, through the men out there doing the works and labors. You know? It says in the scriptures, uh, Daniel, the 12th chapter and the 10th verse, uh, none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. You know? Who? Those who Yahweh Bashim Yashai has imparted the ability of understanding. Hebrews 4 and 2. And it reads, For unto us was the gospel preached. That word is possessive. You know? Unto us, who? The remnant, the whole for the elect, the church of the firstborn, the tabernacle of David. Hebrews 4 and 2. For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. To who? The fearful, the unbelieving, the scoffers, the mockers. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Faith. You got to have faith, you know. And faith is a gift from Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Let's just get there real quick. Ephesians 2. 2. Real quick. I don't want to make this too long. If the Spirit allows, of course. This is Ephesians 2. And eight, and it reads, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of the Most High. It's the gift of the Most High, faith. Now let's go into Hebrews 4 and 1. Let's start from the top. And it reads, Let us therefore fear. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, and to be accepted of him, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest any of you should seem to come short of it. I'm going to read this in the NLT afterwards. Let us therefore fear. Serve Yahweh Bashim Yashar with fear and trembling. Let us therefore fear. Lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest, which we're all desiring to do, to enter into his rest. You know, to enter into receiving that crown. Any of you should seem to come short of it, for unto us the gospel was preached, the saints, the remnant, as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. For we which have believed do enter into rest, as he said, as I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall not enter into my rest. Although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. Predestined, preordained. All we have to do is, you know, finish. You know, the script is already written. All we have to do is say our lines. You know, this is Hebrews 4 and 1 down to 3 in the NLT. We'll revisit this precept, this passage a little later on in the lesson. This is Hebrews 4 and 1 in the NLT. And it reads, The Most High's promise of entering his rest still stands. So we ought to tremble with fear that some of you might fail to experience it. That's why the scriptures say, um, 
Let's just get a couple precepts. I don't want this to be too long, but it's not what I want. It's what Yahweh Bashim Yashai wants. 1 Corinthians 9 and 16, which we meant to grab at camp. I don't think we got it. Yeah, I think we, uh, we may have talked past this one. This is 1 Corinthians 9 and 16, and it reads, For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to, be, I have nothing to glory of, it is necessity, for necessity is laid upon me, yea, woe unto me if I preach not the gospel. Woe unto us if we preach not the gospel, man. Destruction unto us. Let's get Psalms 2. Real quick. Psalms 2 and 11. And it reads, Serve the Lord Yahweh Bashim with, with, with fear. Serve the Lord Yahweh Bashim with fear and rejoice with trembling. Because we know the fate of those who put the plow down. This is Habakkuk 3 and 1. And it reads, um, might be, yeah, Habakkuk 3 and 2, it's like it. Habakkuk 3 and 2. And it reads, O Yahweh Bashim Yashai, I have heard thy speech, I have heard thy speech, and was afraid. O Lord Yahweh Bashim Yashai, Receive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known. In wrath, remember mercy. In wrath, remember mercy. You know? But the main point is we heard the speech of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, and immediately fear jumped upon us to start getting busy, man. You know? Now let's go to. <clears throat> Hebrews 11 but well, let's get Acts 28 and 24 first and it reads some believed the things which were spoken and some believed not going into Hebrews 4 and 2 the opening precept for unto us was the gospel preached those who believed the report those who, me those who move with fear and trembling you know as well as unto them unto who those who believed not Lucky. Hebrews 4 and 2 For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them But the word preached did not profit them Not being mixed with faith in them that heard it And you can't, you know, precept upon precept upon precept Line upon line upon line somebody into believing Either they're going to believe it or they don't You know, like the uh, elder priest Yaakov said back in the day in it's like if it's not the right elder priest. I believe it was elder priest Shaikwab. He says, if a nigga can't get it, we moving on. If a nigga can't get it, we simply moving on, man. You know? Especially in these times. If you can't get it, we just simply moving on. It's not meant for you. Just keep on going. This is Acts, 8 and, Acts 28 and 24. And some believe the things which were spoken, and some believe not. Let's go into Hebrews 11. And it reads, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Let's go down to the 6th and 7th verse. And it reads, But without faith, it is impossible to please him who, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is. You know, Yahweh. I, he, he is. You know? That's what the name means. He is. He exists. You know? You got to believe that, man. Hebrews 11 and 6, and it reads, But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that, digi that, diligently, that diligently seek him. This is one of the points. Hebrews 11 and 7, By faith Noah being warned of the Most High of things not seen as yet, moved with fear. I heard thy speech and was afraid, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world, and that's what we're doing. You know, we heard the speech of Yahweh Bashim Yashai and became afraid and started to move with fear and trembling. You know? By faith, Noah being warned of Yahweh Bashim Yashai of things not seen as yet, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. You know, Proverbs 22 and 3. Move with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house. 
The spiritual ark is being prepared to the saving of who? The house of David, the remnant, the church of the firstborn, the whole for the elect, by the which he condemned the world. What are we doing? Condemning this world, this eon, this age, and the wickedness that's being perpetuated in this place. You know? And we starting to see, we're starting to see the resistance. You know, the UN, you know, uh, Alex Jones getting pulled in the court, being broken, being buck broke, you know, having to admit that, you know, it, it, yeah, it's true, it's true, it was true. You know? We're starting to see those things, and that's making our faith stronger. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. This is Hebrews 11 and 7, and it reads, By faith Noah being warned of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, of things not seen as yet, move with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world, and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith, which is by faith. Now, if you go into the NLT, which I didn't finish, let's go into this in the NLT. The Most High's promise of entering his rest still stands, so we ought to tremble with fear that some of you might fail to experience it. For this good news that the Most High has prepared this rest has been announced to us just as it was to them, but it did them no good because they didn't share the faith of those who listened to Yahweh Bashim Yashai, who those men who Yahweh Bashim Yashai has imparted the spirit of understanding. Let's go to Joel 32 and 8, which I had on deck, and it reads, But there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Most High. I'm going to read again from the top. Joel 32 and 8, but, they, but there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. Through what? Through faith, which is a gift from the Heavenly Father. Let's go to Hebrews 4 and 2 in the NLT. <clears throat> For this good news that the Most High has prepared this rest has been announced to us. That's possessive right there. Just as it was to them, but it did them no good because they didn't share the faith of those who listen to the Most High. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. My sheep hear my voice. For only we who believe, for only we who believe can enter his rest. As for others, the Most High said, in my anger, I took an oath. They will never enter my place of rest. Although, it's like even though this rest has been ready since he made the world. Pre uh, predestined, man, you know, preordained. Now let's go into Hebrews 11 and 7 again. And it reads, by faith, Noah being warned of Yahweh Bashimi Shai of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, which we're doing. We're moved with fear. We heard the speech of Yahweh Bashimi Shai through the prophets, the elders, and the apostles, and we're afraid and started building, you know, ourselves, that spiritual ark to the saving of our house, you know, our ho of our houses, and eventually to the house of David, you know, by the which he condemned the world. What are we doing? We're condemning Esau, Edom, you know, who's in rulership right now, and became heir of the righteousness, which is by faith. And through that, we're going to become joint heirs. We Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Now let's go into this world of righteousness. You know, Lord's will. This is Hebrews 11 and 7. That word righteousness, I'll just let you see it right here, goes into Slakia. Yeah. Strong's G 1343, for Greek 1343. Let's let him say it. Strong's G 1343. Dikeasune. And it reads, in a broad sense, state of him who is as he ought to be, righteousness, the condition acceptable to the Most High. You know, getting washed through the word, you know, becoming a, becoming a new creature, becoming a new man. This is the point right here. The doctrine concerning the way in which man may attain a state approved of the Most High. You know, because you have what? Those who believed and those who believed not. Those who were 
appointed to be heirs to receive the doctrine and those who were appointed to not receive the doctrine. You know, the doctrine that can give you eternal life. You know, the fruit of the tree of immortality. Acts 28 and 24, and some believe the thing which some believe the things which were spoken, and some believe not. Because faith is the gift of the of the Heavenly Father, man. A gift of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Let's keep it going. Mm. <clears throat> it's lucky. And it reads, integrity, virtue, purity of life, rightness, correctness of thinking, feeling, and acting. You know? But the main point is the doctrine concerning the way in which a man, in which man may attain a state approved of the Most High. Because you have those who are able to receive it and those who you can bring out a million precepts to and the word just falls upon deaf ears. The opening precept one more time. Hebrews 4 and 2. For unto us was the gospel preached, the good news, the gospel of the kingdom, you know, the message of salvation, the message of repentance, the message that the other nations are going to get their just due for what they did to our people, as well as unto them, the fear for the unbelieving. You know, Jake out there just lost in the world. They've heard the word. They've seen us out there in the highways and byways. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them. Not being mixed with faith, which is a gift from the Heavenly Father, and them that heard it. The, the ability to receive this word and to understand, that's not a low level thing, man. You know, this is Romans 8 and 28. And it reads, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Heavenly Father, to them who are called according to His purpose, who are called. Let's go into this word called. I only got a few more. I'm going to wrap on up. Yep. Only a few more. I'm going to wrap on up. Uh, let's get rid of these. Yep. Only a few more. I'm going to wrap on up. This is Romans 8 and 28 again. And we know that all things work together to good for though for them all things work together for good to them that love the heavenly father to them who are called according to his purpose many are called but few are chosen now let's go into this word called that word called in the greek it goes into the strong's g for greek and that's 2822 kletos strong's g 2822 kletos Kletos. And it goes into appointed or specifically, specially, a saint. Who are the saints? You know, who are the saints? Well, the saints are the people who the Heavenly Father made uh, a covenant with by sacrifice. You know, Psalms 50 and 5. You know, Psalms 148, the last two verses. You know, the Israelites, man. And in this eon, in this age, the Israel of the Most High. Now, if it goes into called, invited, invited to the banquet, you know, invited to the wedding, and what you have to have in the parable of the wedding, you know, a wedding garment. This understanding, once again, going into that word, um, going into that word in Hebrews for righteousness, the heir of righteousness, going into the doctrine concerning the way in which man may attain a state approved of the Most High. You know, because to actually become a, a uh, physical heir of righteousness, you're going to have to go through the straight gate, through the doctrine, the 100% truth, and the men who have it. Now that word for called, Kletos, 2822, Strong's G, for Greek, 2822, Kletos, called, invited to a banquet, to the wedding, you know, invited by the Most High in the proclamation of the gospel to obtain eternal salvation in the kingdom through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. I'm going to read it again. Invited by the Most High in the proclamation of the gospel to obtain eternal salvation in the kingdom through Hamashiach 
and who are those people who are called? Let's get it again. Hate to be redundant, but hey, just like to bang points home. A saint. Who are the saints? The Heavenly Father's, you know, chosen. You know, his chosen people. And the chosen of the chosen in this eon, this age. You know, the hopeful elect. And it goes into divinely selected and appointed. Let's go into this word divinely. Divinely. And it goes into by the power of the Most High or a God in a very pleasing or delightful way. You know? Divinity. Divinity or the divine are things that are either related to, devoted to, or proceeding from a deity. From Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You know? Divinely selected and appointed. Preordained, predestined. You know, to receive the word. Lord's will we endure until the end. This is Romans 8 and 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Most High. To them who are called, divinely selected, appointed. Divinely selected and appointed, invited by the Most High in the proclamation of the gospel to obtain eternal salvation in the kingdom through Hamashiach. Once again, Hebrews 4 and 2, for unto us was the gospel preached, unto those who are able to receive the report. Because uh, none of the wicked shall understand, you know, Daniel 12 and 10, including the wicked of our people. You know, let's just finish the precept because it bangs the point home. As well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. You got to believe. Romans 8 and 29. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Yahweh Shai is the first spirit created, you know. And the church of the firstborn, a.k.a. the elect, are the first spirits created, you know. And those are the only ones who can receive the word, you know. The only ones who are able to receive the gospel preached. For unto us was the gospel preached. Let's keep it going. Now let's go into Romans 8 and 30. Yep. That word I'm looking for is in Romans 8 and 30. And it reads, moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, divinely selected and appointed, and whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. Let's go into this word glorified. That word glorified is Strong's G1391. A strong's G Strong's G thirteen ninety two, Duxadzo. Duxadzo. I'll let you see it right here, so you don't think I pulled it out of a hat. And I'm gonna wrap on up. Only got a few more to go, and uh, almost home. I don't want to keep it too much longer. This is that word for glorified is deoxy, uh, deoxo. Strong's G thirteen ninety two, Duxadzo. Duxadzo, and it goes into. Let's get right to the point. Um, is that the one right there? It's lucky. Yep. And it goes into to make glorious, to make renowned, render illustrious, to cause the dignity and worth of some person or thing to become manifest and acknowledged. You know, I will give you fame in all the places you were put to shame. Now, we don't do that. We don't do the work for that, but eventually that's going to happen. You know? Let's read this precept one more time. This is Romans 8 and 30. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, divinely selected and appointed, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. 
you know, being joint heirs with Yahweh Hamashiach. He's going to get his, and then we're going to be right there along him, along alongside him, man. You know, Lord's will. Now let's go into Hebrews 12 and 22. And it reads, But ye are come unto Mount Zion. To Zion, you know, the monument, you know, the memorial. But ye are come into Mount Zion and into the city of the living power, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an, innum and to an innumerable company of angels. And the angels worship Yahweh Shai. You know, it says that in the book of Hebrews, you know. This is Hebrews 1. Just to bang the point home. Hebrews 1. <clears throat> and it reads, Hebrews 1. Yep. Hebrews 1 and 6. And it reads, I'll get 5. For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee, and again I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. That's said in the book of Psalms, the second chapter. Hebrews 1 and 6, and it reads, And again, when he bringeth the first begotten into the world, he saith, And let all the angels of the Most High worship him. So the angels worship you, how was shot, you know? How much more we need to worship Yahweh Shot? And you got men out there saying that we don't need to worship Yahweh Shot. And the worship of Yahweh Shot is in the law. That's Exodus 23, 20 on down to like 22. But what did Yahweh Shot get called right here? And again, when he bring it in the first begotten into the world, the first begotten, you know, the first, I'll just get it real quick. The firstborn of many brethren, you know. Yep. Romans 8 and 29. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. And we do that. We get that. Uh, we're conformed to the image of the son, but yet through the word. That he might be the firstborn among many brethren. The first spirit created. This is. Hebrews 12 and 22, but ye are come into Mount Zion and into the city of the living power, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn. That's what the hopeful elect are, you know, the first spirits created, which are written in heaven and to the Most High, the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect. Through what? Through the word. And eventually, those men are going to be perfected in the flesh. By, by uh, They're going to be perfected, but yet, and given new bodies, man. You know? To where you can't go off. You know? This is Luke 10 and 20, and he reads, Notwithstanding, in this rejoice not, the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. You know, because the church of the firstborn, their names are written in heaven. You know, the hopeful elect, which we're desiring to be, you know. Hebrews 12 and 23, to the general assembly and the church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven. And to the most high, the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect through what through the word you know being able to receive the report for unto us was the gospel preached we were able to receive you know correction the understanding you know rebuke you know the report the warning we were able to hear the trumpet let's go into a few more precepts and then wrap on up this is Sirach 19 and uh, 18 Salakia like and it reads, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yashai, is the first step to be accepted of him. And wisdom obtaineth his love. This is Hebrews 4 and 1. And it reads, let us therefore fear. You know, without fear, 
is impossible be, to be accepted of him. You know, roughly paraphrasing Hebrews 11 and 6, we'll go to it again. And it reads, um, without faith, it's like it. But it, what does it say? Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the things of the evidence, the evidence of things not seen. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. By faith, by faith, Noah, being warned of the Most High, of things not seen as yet, move with fear, just like we're doing in these times. Prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, which is by faith. You know, let's go to Hebrews 4 and 1 again. Let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. Let's get the NLT. The Most High's promise of entering his rest still stands, so we ought to tremble with fear that some of you might fail to experience it. And that's our fear, you know, is that, you know, we'll be, uh, we don't want to be castaways, brother. We don't want to be those who, you know, get laughed at because we weren't able to finish. You know, we're, especially with us being so close to the finish line, you know. This is Sirach 19 to 18. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, is the first step to be accepted of him, and wisdom obtaineth his love. This is Sirach 19 and 19. The knowledge of the commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yashai is the doctrine, is the doctrine of life going into air of righteousness, you know. Hebrews 11 and 7, and he reads... Um, it's like it. Yep. I'll start from the middle point. By which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, which is by faith. That word righteousness goes into one of the definitions. The doctrine concerning the way which man may attain a state approved by the Most High. Going back to Sirach 19 and 18. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yashai is the first step to be accepted of him and wisdom obtaineth his love Woo! Sirach 19 and 19 the knowledge of the commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yashai is the doctrine of life and they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality now if you go into that word fruit in the New Testament it goes into works acts deeds but this is talking about the word you know and the word leads to immortality the, to be able to receive the word and finish to the end, you know, but you're going to have to have works, acts, deeds to get there, you know. This is Sirach 19 and 20. Once again, you're going to have to have works, acts, deeds. And the first day, the first step into that is to be able to receive the word, you know, for unto us was the gospel preached unto us. We were able to receive it, man, you know. Not nothing to take lightly, man, especially in these days where people are bugging out. Got all these bug outs lately. I was going to watch a lesson that was done by Elder uh, Manata Zakba. It's like it from my internet, man. But um, he's going into the bug outs, man. You know, I'm going to watch it after uh, I do this Ignore lesson. these bugged out. Give the Elder some love, you know. And these bug outs are popping up left and right. You got the dude popping up on every single comment board talking about I need healing. And that dude's a, a, a agent, man. I believe through the spirit. I would block that dude. His name is uh, I Worship My Master, you know. And the brother Shawab Amawan from New Jersey, he did a video on that dude, you know, showing that that dude's bugged out, you know. But back to uh, back to the lesson. It's lucky. It's lucky to get carried away. We're almost done. This is Sirach 19 and 20, and it reads, The fear of the Lord is all wisdom, and in all wisdom is the performance of the law and knowledge of his omnipotency. Um, um, omnipotency, you know, or you could say omnipotency. That word omnipotency goes into, you know, seeing all, knowing all, all powerful. Omnipotence is the quality of having unlimited power. You know, that's what the Heavenly Father has. Unlimited power, man, you know. Second Ezra, I got to go there now. Second Ezra, eight. I think that's I think it's eight, yeah, about twenty. Yep. Oh Yahweh Shimashai, thou that dwellest in everlastingness, 
which beholdest from above things in the heaven and in the air, whose throne is inestimable, whose glory may not be comprehended, before whom the hosts of angels stand with trembling. Now, if the angels tremble, how much more we need to tremble, man? Whose service is conversant in wind and fire. Both analogies for the word, you know. The word is like fire and the word is like the wind, you know, the breath. Whose word is true and sings constant, whose commandment is strong and ordinance fearful. Hebrews 4 and 1 again. Let's bang the point home. Let us therefore fear lest a lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest any of you should seem to come short of it that's what we don't want to do we don't want to come up short you know now let's go into um yep let's read this again Surah 19 and 19 the knowledge of the commandments of Adamani Haobashi Miyashai is the doctrine of life and they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality Going back into Genesis, you know, when uh, Adam, you know, ate of the wicked philosophies because he listened to Eve, you know, what did the Lord do? Well, the Lord, you know, he, he, uh, I'll just read it real quick. Genesis 3 and 22, and the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai said, behold, man has become as one of us to know good and evil. And now lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever so we had to fall away you know because the sons of god you know are a line you know a line that's that was meant to live in righteousness but through adam falling we fell you know and now yahweh shai has opened up the tree of life to us again you know through our elders through our apostles you know which is not a light thing. You know, this is Genesis 3 and 22. And the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yashai Power said, Behold, the man is become one of us. To become God, you have to know, you have to know uh, good and evil. You have to have knowledge of good and evil. You know, which we have in this eon, this age. We grew up, you know, following all sorts of wickedness, man. You know, different type of lifestyles, you know, different type of, uh, you know, idolatries and, you know, whatever we were into. You know, all sorts of wickedness, man. But through mercy, you know, through Yahweh Shem Yashai extending his hand unto us, the tree of life is open unto us. You know, this doctrine, you know, the word. And it reads, And the Lord Yahweh Shem Yashai power said, Behold, the man is become as one of us to know good and evil. To be a God, to be a ruler, to be a king, you have to have knowledge of good and evil, which we have in these corrupt bodies, you know, you know. powerful man you know what the lord is doing in these last days man beautiful this is genesis 3 and 22 and the lord yahweh shemashai power said behold the man is become as one of us to know good and evil and now lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever and that's what we're doing in these days we're taking forth of the tree of life the doctrine of immortality you know and you're going to have men who are teaching this word who are going to live forever. You know, they're going to receive the actual gift of immortality. This is Matthew 13 and 9. And it reads, uh, who, let's get, uh, yep, who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Going back into the opening precept, Hebrews 4 and 2. And it reads, for unto us was the gospel preached unto us we were able to hear it those who Yahweh Shem Shai has granted the gift of being able to understand the gift of being able to hear to to comprehend I think that's um I want to say it's Isaiah I think yeah I think it's it Isaiah 28 and 9 and it reads whom shall he teach knowledge and whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. Let's get out. I think it's Jeremiah 6 and 9. I think that might be it as well. 
Slakya. Teach understanding. If not, I can get it in the comment board. I want to say that's in Isaiah. Hmm. It's all good. That's in Isaiah. I just got that one. There's also another one. It's all good. Was that it, though? Let's keep it going though. This is Isaiah 28, 9, and it reads, Whom shall he teach knowledge, and whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Then that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. Let's get that though. To whom shall I teach understanding? It's lucky. And there's another one that's worded differently. I'll just throw it in the comments. You, know, you don't remember all the precepts all the time. Doctrine. Teach doctrine, yeah. Dwadi Habba Shai. Let's see. No? Man, I'm tripping. There's another one that's worded differently. Might be who. Slack it. No, it's teach knowledge. Teach knowledge, right? I think that's the one. I'll, I'll try one last search. No? Hmm. That's all good want to say it's in Jeremiah, but it's all good. This is Matthew 13 and 9, and it reads, Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given to you, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries, the mysterion, you know, the deep, dark secrets, you know, the understanding, the parables, the prophecies, you know, the milk. He answered and said unto them, because, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but unto them, but to them it is not given. Going back into Hebrews 4 and 2 again, you know. And I really want to find that precept, man. Dang, I hate when that happens. But it's all good. That's how you memorize precepts. This is Hebrews 4 and 2. But unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Let's try Jeremiah 6 and 10. I want to say, yeah, it might be 6 and 10. Yep. The Wadi Habashim Yashai was one precept off. Yep. To whom shall I speak and give warning? that they may hear going back into revelation 13 and 9 and it reads who had ears to hear let him hear jeremiah 6 and 10 to what you about shim outside call all you about shim outside to whom shall i speak and give warning that they may hear behold their ears am circumcised that they cannot hearken behold the word you about shim outside is unto them a reproach they have no delight in it Going back into Hebrews 4 and 2, you know. But the word priest did not profit them, did not give them an advantage, did not let them prevail. You know, they didn't understand it because it was written from the foundations of the earth that some wouldn't understand, you know. And that gives us clarity, you know, that gives us ease because we know that certain people aren't, aren't meant to get it. You know, for unto us was the gospel preached, the church of the firstborn, the 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 hopeful elect, the remnant, you know, the house of David, as well as unto them, the unbelievers, you know, those who've been blinded from the foundations of the earth, those who are to receive, you know, and those who are vessels of wrath made for destruction, as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith, which is a gift from the Heavenly Father. Now let's go to the last couple of precepts and wrap on up. 
Matthew 13 and 9, who hath ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou to them in parables? Because it is given to you. And he answered, and he answered, uh, Slaki, he answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. Having this understanding is not anything to take lightly, you know, because this is going to lead to immortality, which is not a gift that any, that a, any peon, you know, a, a, a peon is going to get, you know. You know, he's going to give that gift to men who under, to under, who understand, you know, he's going to, he's not going to give immortality, you know, in this eon, this age to men who don't believe. Now, you're going to have Israelites who receive immortality, but they're going to have to die on the side to get it. You know, and those are the those are the men who don't understand, you know, women and children who don't understand. This is second Ezra eight and fifty for many great miseries shall be done to them that in a lot of times shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride, walking after the ways of Esau, Edom. Second Ezra eight and fifty one. But understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. Let's read this in the NLT. Second Ezra eight and fifty one. It's like yeah, Ezra 8 and 51 in the GNT. And it reads, 2nd Ezra 8 and 51 in the GNT. It said 52, it's like yeah. 2nd Ezra 8 and 51 in the GNT. And it reads, got to go all the way down. It's all good though. And it reads, but Ezra, you should be thinking about the glory that is waiting for you. And those like you going into Hebrews 4 and 3, you know, let's read this in the NLT. And it reads, for only we who believe can enter his rest. As for the others, the most I said in my anger, I took an oath. They would never enter my place of rest, even though this rest has been ready since he made the world preordained you know predestined you know to receive the word and ultimately you know if we're of that number salvation let's go into the last few precepts second Ezra 8 and 52 and it reads for unto you is paradise open the tree of life is planted back to Genesis Three and twenty-two, and the Lord Yahweh Shemashai said, "Behold, the man is become as one of us, talking about Adam, to know good and evil. And now, lest he put forth his hand and take also the tree of life to eat and live forever." And that's what we're doing in this age. You know, we're eating of the tree of life. You know, this doctrine, which leads to eternal life. You know, the doctrine of life. You know, let's go to John six and sixty-three, a classic, a milk scripture. John 6 and 63, and it reads, <clears throat> it's like it. it is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. The word, you know, going back to Hebrews 4 and 2. I keep on going back into this uh, chapter, but hey, Lord, will you find a lesson edifying? And it reads, for unto us was the gospel preached. For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them, but the word, but, but, but the word preached did not profit them. It profited us, man. You know, not being mixed with faith with them in them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Now let's go back into second Ezra 8 and 52 for unto you is paradise open unto who those who are able to receive the report for unto us was the gospel preached. The tree of life is planted. We're eating from the tree of life. You know, this word, the time to come is prepared. Plentiness is made ready. You know? He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers and living water. You know? The Lord Yahweh Shai anoints our head. With our, our, I'll just get it real quick. Psalms 23. You know, our cup is overrunning, you know, with this oil. Psalms 23. And it reads, The Lord Yahweh Shai is my shepherd. I shall not want. He make he maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. Yep. 
I'll get right to the point. I'll read the whole thing. He restoreth my soul through what? Through the word. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness. In the paths of righteousness. For his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. The, the word, the scriptures, you know, the comforter. Thou preparest a table before me in the midst of thine enemies. Thou preparest a table before me in the midst of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Our cup runs over. You know, well, what? This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Because what? We're in the last days. And plentiness is made ready, man. You know? That reminds me of Proverbs 9. Proverbs 9. Yep. And it reads, Wisdom had built her house. She had hewed out her seven pillars. She had killed her beasts. She had mingled her wine. She had furnished her table. You know? The Most High is, you know, building us up through this wisdom. You know? Psalms 23 and five thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies building us up with wisdom thou anointest my head with oil my cup runneth over call all your second Ezra 8 and 52 for unto you is paradise open the tree of life is planted the wisdom knowledge and understanding we're eating from the tree of life these scriptures this word you know this time, the time to come is prepared. Plentiness is made ready. A city is builded. Through what? Through the word. Proverbs 9 and 1. And it reads, Wisdom had built her house. She had hewn out her seven pillars. Let's go to Psalms 147. Psalms 147. Didn't want to make this too long, but hey. I don't have any control over that. And he reads, Psalms 147 and 2, The Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yashai, don't build up Jerusalem. He gathered together the outcasts of Israel. You know? Through what? Through the word. Second Ezra 8 and 52 again. From the top, For unto you is paradise open. Who? Those who are able to receive the report. You know? The gospel is preached unto us. Roughly paraphrasing Hebrews 4 and 2. The tree of life is planted. The time is to come is prepared plentiness is made ready a city is builded and rest is allowed Hebrews 4 and 3 in the NLT and it reads <clears throat> for only we who believe can enter his rest you know this truth and eventually you know, rest will be allowed in the kingdom. You know, we'll be, we won't be teaching anymore, man. You know, we'll be able to enjoy the fruits of our labors. As for the others, the Most High said, in my anger, I took an oath. They will never enter my place of rest. You know, this truth, and eventually, you know, uh, this truth, man, even though this rest has been ready since he made the world, you know, and rest is coming for the hopeful elect, man. You know, we're going to have Lord's will, we're of that number. You know, we're going to have all our heart desires and forever to enjoy it. A city is built and rest is allowed. Yea, perfect goodness and wisdom. The root of evil is sealed up from you. The root of evil is sealed up from you. Weakness and the moth is hid from you. And corruption is fled into hell to be forgotten. And, you know, Esau is going to be destroyed. He's going to be at the bottom of bottoms in the kingdom. This is the point right here. Last precept. We'll close on out. Sorrows are past. And in the end, it show the treasure of immortality. And in the end, it show the treasure of immortality. One of my favorite precepts to get. Let's get it again. This is Sirach 19 and 19. And it reads, I'll get Genesis 3 and 22 again. And it reads, I'll get it. Uh, just read it from here. And it reads, And the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yashai, Power, said, Behold, the man is become as one of us. A God, you know. That's who we are. Gods, a nation of kings and priests. And gods, you know. Psalms 82 and 6. 
You know, John 10 and 35, you know, is it not written in your law? You're God's. Let's just get both of them. Psalms 82 and 6. This would be in long-winded. Psalms 82 and 6. I have said, you are God's and all of you are the children of the Most High. If you go into Genesis and the earlier part, it talks about, let's get it real quick. Yep. Yep. For the Most High doth know that in that day, in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And that's what we have the knowledge of. I'm going to read again, Genesis 3 and 5. For the Most High doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, having good, having knowledge. It's like you're knowing good and evil. I'm going to read again. It's like I butchered it. For the Most High knoweth, for the Most High doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, of the tree of, you know, the philosophies that, the Most High told Adam and Eve not to eat, you know, the tree of evil, you know, roughly paraphrasing. For the Most High doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Back to Psalms 82 and 6, and it reads, I have said ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High. The Lord also quoted this, basically he reiterated this in John 10 and 34, and it reads, Yahweh shall I answer, Yahweh shall I answer them, is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods, rulers, judges, you know, kings, priests, you know, that's what we are, kings, rulers, judges, you know. Genesis 3 and 22 again, just to bang the point home, and the Lord Yahweh Bashim I said, Behold, the man is become as one of us to know good and evil. And now, lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. And that tree of, uh, you know, evil, you know, roughly paraphrasing, was not an actual tree. It was, wicked, it was wicked philosophies, which the Heavenly Father told us to stay away from because we, we as the sons of God were only supposed to follow righteousness. But we fell, you know, but the Heavenly Father is showing mercy unto us by allowing us to eat from the tree of life, which is this word, you know, this doctrine. Going back to Sirach 19 and 19, let's get John 6 and 63 again. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profit nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. The knowledge of the commandments of Yahweh Bashim Shai is the doctrine of life. And they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. The doctrine, you know, which leads to immortality. Second Ezra 8 and 52, just to bang the point home again, and it reads, For unto you is paradise open. Unto who? Those that are able to receive the report. For unto us was the gospel priest, those that were able to receive the word. For unto you is paradise open. The tree of life is planted. The tree of life is planted. The time to come is prepared. Plentiness is made ready. A city is built and rest is allowed. Yea, perfect goodness and wisdom. Right to the point. Sorrows, I'll get 53 as well. The root of evil is sealed up from among you. Esau, Edom, weakness, and the moth is hid from you, and corruption is fled into hell to be forgotten. Because in the kingdom, you know, we're not going to be following the ways of unrighteousness, man. We're not going to go off. You know, we're not going to come up short, man. We're going to be perfect. Second Exodus 8 and 54, sorrows are past, and in the end, they show the treasure of immortality. And that showed unto the church of the firstborn, who endure unto the end, the hope of the elect, the remnant, the house of David, you know, who are immortals, man. Believe it, believe it, believe it, believe it, man. You're gods, man. Know that, know that. This is Second Exodus 8 and 54 to close on out. Sorrows are past, and in the end, they show the treasure of immortality. That's coming, man. You just got to believe, man. You know, and, and of course, endure until the end. So, Lord's will, the lesson was edifying. Uh, Salakia, I was trying to make it short, but it ended up being long-winded. But, Lord's will, you still find the lesson edifying. I'm going to close on that right here. And in closing, I give all praise, honor, and infinite glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Wadash. 
giving double honors unto the head apostles of Great Millstone, who do rule well and teach well with sound doctrine, shalom unto the elders and the elder bishops of Great Millstone as well. Shalom, shalom. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect and the hearty shalom to the sincere brethren laboring across the four winds of the earth, giving diligence to make their calling and election sure. Shalom, shalom. And until next time, next lesson, next live stream, next camp session, shalom, DTA, wa, ababa, ba, ba. Soon, 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 soon. Shalom.